Today's video is another collab with Nivor. Yes, another. Before we begin let's recap what I said at the beginning of my last video. Under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations, Article 19 states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions without interference and to seek, receive and impart information and ideas through any media and regardless of frontiers. I'll highlight these keywords, through any media. That includes videos. Hey everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at a style that has been receiving unnecessary hate, and we will be looking at why that is the case. Let's go. I'm sure you have all seen this sort of rogue gangster style on Roblox, more commonly known as slenders and copy and pastes. For ages, and I mean ages, people using these styles have been made to feel bad about it. I know, it's ridiculous. You shouldn't shame slash hate on someone for being a certain style. Unfortunately, large YouTubers have been posting trends that involve disrespecting this style, and it's now all over YouTube. Just because the person looks a certain way doesn't mean they act like it. This doesn't even make sense. I'm aware that some slenders or copy and pastes do online date and annoy other players, but not all of them. Just because you've met a few rude ones doesn't mean they are all like that. It's common sense, really. So you're saying you hate slenders, but you didn't provide the viewer with a reason why. You most likely met one toxic slender and automatically decided that they all act that way. Or, you were probably scrolling through YouTube and realized that videos to do with hating slenders seem to get thousands of views, so you're joining in on this hateful trend. What was the point of making this video? What will the viewer take from this? Nothing, it's completely pointless. I think that before calling something cringe you should probably give a reason as to why you believe so. Also, maybe you don't like the way they look, and that's completely fine. I understand. But there's no need to make an entire video bashing their style and making them feel bad for it. Just let them live. I don't understand people these days. I'm going to hand this video over to Nivork because I've lost too many brain cells. I'm doing this part of the video, and you probably recognize me, I mean I did make two other collab videos, so I'm not going to introduce myself. Today, we will be talking about how people hate on slenders, or people who dislike bacons. I made a video on this if you want to check it out. Anyway on to my part, so bacon and slender hate has been going on ever since slenders were a thing, and a lot of slenders are toxic, but not all of them, and a lot of bacons are toxic but still not all of them. It seems like whatever your style on a block game is means if you're mean or not. And we will be looking at some videos that show that. So let's do that. This is straight up stereotyping. Just because they are a slender doesn't mean they did that. They were just having fun. Leave them alone. Seriously stop stereotyping them. Just because one is tall on a block game does not mean they did that. Seriously, it's ridiculous. It's wrong in so many ways. You're just getting into their business. I try to run, but see I'm not that fast. Ay, ay, she okay, so if somebody is hating on a slender would you run? Cuss, it seems like you demise them. I don't support Slender or Bacons, but it's sad how people attack them. And before you say Nivok, he is just saying he doesn't like hate. He's literally hating on people for disliking Bacons. A Roblox style. This is a straight up copy of the video. Same thing but different name. Anyway, going to hand the video back to Skiskios. My channel is Nivok if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video informative please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. As always, love you all. Bye.